And the situation of human rights in China was the focus of the European Parliament on Thursday as well. In particular, politicians and NGOs called for action to stop the forced organ harvesting of prisoners of conscience. China's organ transplant industry has grown rapidly over the past decade. But the source of organs used for transplants has remained controversial. That's particularly after 2006, when allegations surfaced that state hospitals were killing persecuted Falun Gong practitioners for their organs. The issue was raised on Thursday in Brussels during a hearing of the European Parliament's Human Rights Subcommittee. So in other words, individuals in China, um, completely against their will, are, have their organs harvested and in the process of that, they die. Um, so this is the issue what, that I think will be discussed further. Um, the, there are many groups um, that are, that these may be take, that of groups of individuals where these organs might be taken from, the Falun Gong being one of the main groups. Similar hearings were held in the European Parliament in 2006 and 2009. The Chinese regime has since admitted that executed prisoners are the main source of organs. Independent investigations suggest they are not just prisoners, but prisoners of conscience, and many went through no legal conviction. I've met someone myself whose best pr friend died in, pr in prison. He disappeared one evening from the cell, and uh, when uh, he next saw his friend's body, it had holes in it in the prison hospital, and he thought some operation had been done. But obviously what had happened was he'd been transplanted, uh, he'd been um, harvested for his organs. Canadian human rights lawyer and Nobel Peace Prize nominee David Matas co-authored a book on the forced organ harvesting allegations. It includes dozens of pieces of data and concludes that at least thousands of Falun Gong practitioners have been killed for their organs. The hearing, attended by EU officials, politicians and human rights advocates, called on the European Parliament to take concrete action to help end organ harvesting. I believe that we have to think about new legislation, which would be extraterritorial, which would be international, and which would simply um, require, require the individual responsibility of all people involved in these operations, in these absolutely criminal, illegal activities. So this would send a very strong message to China. NTD News, Brussels, Belgium.